Well, we are done with NACL finals. My year-long coverage ends here talking to an expert in the NACL, ah. none other than Scara. Scara, what did you think of that game? Um, I thought it was really impressive when China dominated. Mm. I really thought, in a, you know, maybe next year they can win. Yeah. You realize that was just uh, North America versus North America. And they did win today. That's why it was extra shocking when China won. I was <laughs> okay. like, oh, shit. I see. Yeah. Can I curse on this? Yeah, you can. Uh, excellent. Uh, we'll excellent. have to bleep it because it's the first, like, 45 seconds. Right, 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 half, right. Whatever right. the YouTube rules right, are. Right, right, right. Oh, that is yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. All right. So I know you've been watching NACL all year long leading up to this match. Can I would unironically say I've watched about 30% of the games. Which oh, is really? Not okay. That. 30% of DSG games. Okay. Oh, 30% of DSG. It's so not that's probably bad. like. 10% of yeah. the games. Okay. Uh, maybe even less, 5%. Okay. Uh, what Were you surprised at all by their dominant performance today? Obviously, it was 3-1, but a lot of those games were pretty one-sided. I I was surprised. I think when I was watching, um, especially uh, some of their first games, I thought they were really rather shaky. I thought like when I watched Young vs. Appa, like, I was like, oh, Appa's just like crushing this guy. And then he gets brought into LCS. I'm like, oh, God, yeah. okay. But um, it really looks like they were always the better team. Like, they were the team to beat, um, which is surprising. It's always good to be in that position. Yeah. How much did you advise Toast on his League of Legends entry? Because obviously you had a lot of experience in League previously. So did he talk to you at all? I advised him about 1%. Okay, okay. No, oh, like 2%. 2%, well, okay. Uh, yeah, 2%. I hooked him up with... Uh, I talked to him a little bit about the thing, said it was a bad financial decision. He mm. agreed. And then I hooked him up with Insanity, David. Yeah, yeah. And I think he was going to be the mid laner for the team. And then... Yeah, then TSM. TSM. Yeah. Yes. So, the classic. Yeah. So it's like, um, that's about the extent of my help. He did everything else. Like, okay. I think that's just... I wouldn't want to do stuff for him any either because I feel like part of the reason why he's doing this is to try new things. Yeah. And I think that, that it's better for his own personal growth to do it, you know, his gotcha. way. Yes. When is Offline TV getting a team? We don't have enough money. Okay. Well, to like, okay. Toast does, org, but you guys don't? The org. The, okay. the individuals the org. is, yeah. like, different story. But, like, the org itself, like, we got, we got like, people to pay for, yeah. you know. We are, you know, we're chilling. Okay, so there's something called Moist Esports. Yes. Which are Ludwig and Moist yes. Critical. Know them. Why don't the per people within Offline TV all combine their funds to create Offline TV, the team? Um, I think, it, oh, personally speaking, I don't have that many funds, personally. Okay. I would say, like, the people who are really rich, um, uh, Pokey graduated, mm. and Lily is not, I think it's just interest. People just yeah. aren't interested. What would about you be uh, interested Broden? in running a million dollars? What about Broden? He's not a millionaire. I would say Really? He, I don't think so. I paid that guy so much money. <laughs> where did it all go? If he, if he did, he'd be right there, okay? <laughs> Uh, I just assumed you guys outbid me on on all that. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, okay. In fact, he, he might be GV videos for us for free. Isn't Michael Reeves a big old YouTuber? Yeah, but like he's not really focused on cash. Okay. Like like I he, mean, clearly neither is Toast based he, off of how he's spending it. Yeah, I mean, but Toast has like he's he's financially well off. I think Michael's is the type of guy who just a couple of videos a year, your your chills, mm. one big bag, and he's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, so no OTV. No team one. No one soon. wants to burn money. Yeah. I'm kind of down. Okay. But I burned a lot of money with OTV, and so I don't have that many. I no joke. Don't have that much left over to burn on. Okay. TV. Okay. So you're you're in a, a struggling situation. Yeah, financially. Str I should start a Patreon. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Shit. That's the new hotness. I'm thinking about making one of those myself. Uh, so going into the arena, watching all that. Did it make you want to come back at all and do any kind of thing in the League of Legends space besides this team thing we've been talking about? No. It actually reconfirmed my decision that I th it wasn't good. Like, okay. Um, watching League right now is rather boring compared to watching other esports. I gotcha. think League has a lot of downtime, and that downtime is fixed if you can co-stream with people and fill the downtime. We talked about smoothies. We talked about random stuff in the downtime. Yes. But if you're just by yourself watching League and you're just sitting there waiting for, like, Wow, Renekton took three, two platings and four waves, and like you're supposed to be really happy about that. Um, it's really hard as a casual viewer to enjoy that. Okay. Um, so you want more co-stream style coverage? Um, I mean, I, I mean, look at what Va Valorant's allowed to do. Yeah. And then we were told not to stream during LCS when I was okay. a player. 
Gotcha. So it's also like, well. But they've changed. Well, so you can't stream, but they obviously they have all this co-streaming now. Oh, I can stream. I have, I, have, I have the ability to stream, yeah. actually. I am saying that they've changed it now where, like, co-streaming does exist, right? It's so. about eight years too late. Okay. Like, it just sucks that, like, once we got out, the, uh, the they realized co-streaming is beneficial ten years late. Gotcha. You know? Okay, okay. I think it would be, it'd be a different story if co-streaming was available back then. But yeah. that's kind of a, okay, whatever. You know? That's like me saying, like, wow, I wish I had their salaries. Yeah, but yeah, I also yeah. wasn't as that good. Yeah, it was just so. a different time. Different times. Yes. All right. So, re reconfirmed your decision not to be involved. Yeah. Uh, how is Toast taking it? Because I haven't had a chance to interview him. So have you uh, had to talk to him at all? I mean, I think he's happy. I think a lot of times he just wants to ha make sure his players are happy. But it's like, there's no, there's no upside for him here. Yeah. He has a he. They win challenger, you know, uh, and what happens? All his players get poached. He's not contract jailing any of these players like other orcs. So he makes no money off of it. And like a lot of players get, co get contract jailed for like six figures, they get bought out, right? Yeah. But not anymore. And what's up, Danny? Hello. Hey Travis. Hello. How are you gonna get an LCS team or an ACL team? You can come in here. Me? Yes. I don't have that type of money, bro. What Yo. the fuck? <laughs> I was hearing they drop the requirement down or the cost a lot, where it's not like minimum yeah. salary. You pay them like pennies, but it doesn't mean yes. they're gonna want to play for pennies. Okay, okay. Well, if they don't have another option, uh, then yeah, I'll sign them for like five bucks an hour or whatever okay. whatever it is well, i don't think you can do five bucks an hour because that's illegal but you can you have to get creative you have to find an accountant that will help you okay okay Shit, why not what well, i was just asking scara did being in the arena seeing all this did it make you miss any of it at all N no because like i'm kind of i feel like i'm kind of past that but like i'm happy for people who play now. that that's very much how i feel like i'm i feel like what i'm doing personally is like it's like a different arc in my life, you know? There's like different arcs in the anime. Like, I finished the League arc. Yes. It's wrapped up. Maybe it comes up, up, back again in a different form, but it's wrapped. And I enjoy co-streaming. I think it's fun. But like, doing my own stuff is weird. I can't play solo queue. It's Plus, it's just hard now, man. Everyone's so good now. Like, I don't want to say I'm washed up, but like, I can't play as well as I used I, to, I'm, obviously. I'm giga washed. Like, I would probably struggle to make it the Masters. Okay. But he, he's like, he could probably still make it the Challenger, but I am giga, giga washed. Well, I know that there's a TFT event at the end of this year that yeah. is like open bracket in Vegas. Either of you trying to compete in that? Yeah. I think we're all going. Yeah, I think we're going just like for me, fun. Like Scar, Cutie, all those guys. I'm pretty sure we're all yeah, going. Yeah, just for fun. Not to compete. You're not going to try to. Well, I'll be it's under, open bracket. I'll be under so. DSG. We'll try. Okay. But like, are we going to win? I mean, yeah. probably not. To but. Toast said he'll sponsor me for it. I'll be under DSG. Okay. How about you? Is he, have, have you talked to Toast about it? No. He said he'd sign me if I make Challenger. Oh, shit. I think he told me that, too. I actually need to try. Oh, no. You haven't been trying? No, man. That's I'm, why you have the class. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> What's the comp right now that uh, everybody's running or that you should be running? Uh, everyone just plays Zeri. Zeri. Zon. Zon. Rek'Sai reroll. Multicasters. Legendary Splash. You know? Yeah. It's like... It's like it's pretty good right now, I think. Yeah, it's pretty versatile but boring, in my opinion. Versatile but boring? Yeah. Okay. He was just saying it's good. Yeah, it's I good. It is good. Yeah. Hey, there's Bjergsen walking out. Yeah. Did you guys talk to him at all? Yeah. I freaking love that guy. He's a goat. Yeah. What's he doing these days? Uh, I think he's just, like, chilling. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's been playing for, like, a decade. Yeah. He, and, like, he, he's just, like, went off break for, like, what, a couple months only? He's he's yeah. learning new life skills, stuff like that. You know, I he's he can do whatever he wants. You couldn't, he, get, you couldn't get an interview with him? You know, he's really ephemeral. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it took me years to get an interview with Scara and like you after, so. Just interviewing him because you couldn't get an interview. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Tell me, oh, we uh, are like the what fourth is Bjergsen, uh, how has it been like for Bjergsen <laughs> in retirement? You know, how's he been feeling? What was it like for him back in the arena today? Uh, oh. I think he liked it. He liked seeing Grayson do well. Yeah. I think, I think really he's his friends. friends. But, you Good know, here. he's doing random stuff, you know. Are you sk uh, sneaking away, Shifter? You said that you'd only do one question in this interview, so. Yeah, I'm that, sneaking away. That's but one. I just want to say hi. Okay. Peace, Danny. Hello. All right. That's my co-streamer, man. All right, so uh, let's wrap this up. Yep. What's right. new and hot at Offline TV these days? Um, Nothing much. I'm trying I, to give you the opportunity to promote. Uh, yeah, I hate doing that. Like, <laughs> it's such well, a bad. Based I'm off your financial situation, I feel like maybe you should be taking. Nah, advantage. it's fine. I don't need. I, I'm not giving my money to anyone. Once I die, it's just gonna go to the charity. Yeah, but you just said that you're out of money. No, I'm just gonna die soon. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> We're um okay. We have a Patreon. Yeah. We have 
I think our YouTube content has been doing explosively well. Okay. I think we hit trending like every video, um, and they're coming up with great ideas. We have a, uh, It's the first time we've had a full-fledged staff yeah. working with us for like a year plus, and they've been doing a great job. Shout out to Henry Amanda, James Noah, Max, et cetera, et cetera. Is there anyone in particular that Lauren. you think is helping with the creative concepts? I think all of them, they all come together and brainstorm and like work. They like, it's like actually like yeah. work meetings. Like I can join in on them. They're at the house uh, every week. And There's so no particularly creative person that you have poached in the past oh are you telling me that bro then i mean i'm just oh is he is he okay you say poach as if like it's it was illegal i just apparently gave him a better offer yeah yeah you know yeah. and i'm just I, in fact well, i don't I have thought, that offline tv money i know? thought that was more like saving actually yeah. you know it was like oh he will rescue you oh no no yo i did you did you hear i slapped him with a tortilla oh no you should you should try stopping with your fist yeah we were at well uh, I don't think I'm allowed to do it, but we were at the Grove recently yeah. seeing uh, Barbenheimer, yeah. and he was there with Leslie and some other folks, and they were trying to raise money for their summer camp, uh -huh. and that was like their whole thing, and they were live streaming it, oh. and I got to slap him with a tortilla if I, I so I gave them 10 bucks. I see. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's how desperate times are for influencers Dude, these days. Dude, I'm just saying, as soon as it hits January, all the money's gone, you're going to see me on the street, man. Yeah. Yeah. Why January? Uh, all the CPM is down. So, like, a lot of times people... You know, like, Vlogmas was a thing? Yeah, yeah. Where, like, uh, you, do, you make a... Vlog every vlog day. Vlog every day in December. That's yes. because that's, like, the highest CPM in the year. So, all the YouTubers made, create a fake holiday to make money. And then they take breaks in January because they did yeah, all the work CPM. in Vlogmas. Yes. That I know. I just don't know if January is, like, really going to be bad this year. If you're, like, I just oh. got through December and then it's over. No, it's just bad every year. Okay. But, like, I don't care. I just stream the same. Right. You know, I'm I'm trying to work on vlogging recently. It's been fun. What have you been... You've been streaming TFT and anything else? I Baldur's Gate 3 has been my okay. game of the year. It's okay. by far the best game that's going to come out this year. How Except, many hours do you have in it? Uh, only, like, 10, okay. 11. But it's, like, a game where I'm shocked about how good it is. Yeah. Very blown away. You said best game except... Uh. I Hades was my game of the year when it came out, and Hades yeah. two is still technically scheduled this year. Yeah. So maybe they'll blow me away, but I feel like um, it's not gonna happen. What about uh, Sky? Uh, the uh, Skyfield. Yeah. I never really was Starfield. A oh, Starfield. I was never a fan of Skyrim. So okay. I assume that it will not blow me away the way it does. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. But yeah. um, I mean, there's still Armor Core. There's still a bunch of stuff. Surprisingly, like as a person who mainly plays multiplayer games. Shit, this year is insane. Yeah. It's like one of the best gaming years. It's all the COVID stuff delaying until this year. Yeah, it's actually yeah. wild. This yeah. year is nuts. All right, anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Yeah, um, thank you for supporting me over the years. I think my career has spanned a decade, over a decade long. I think I'm like, Definitely over a decade, because I, I met you in Rhode Island in 2011. Yes, so I think I am on my 12th or 13th year of being in a scene, I guess. Um, and I am shocked they still have fans, honestly, from really, really far back. Uh, it Actually, this time in the cafeteria, someone came up to me and they're like, hey, do you remember me from 12 years ago? And it was someone who used to work on High Rise and now works at Riot. And I'm like, oh my God, it's been that long since I met people from the scene. But uh, I keep doing stuff every year and I am a terrible content creator because I always do stuff that, like as soon as I get traction in something, I never convert it into bigger things. For my stuff, I always just go do something else because that's what's interesting for me. So yeah. I, I'm glad for people who still follow me for all my stuff between like VTuber stuff to vlogging to I don't know what else I'm going to do next. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you for the interview, Travis. Thank you for the interview. I heard you guys were discussing it on stream, what? debating whether or not you should do the interview. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm glad that the decision was yes. Either way, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things NACL right here on my YouTube channel. LCS is here and so is my coverage. And while you might think that most of what I do here is just interview people, it's actually also about trying to impress people because reputation matters at the LCS. You need to look stylish. That's why right now I'm sporting my 720H headset available from Alienware. But also, the coolest thing that really helps me stand out from the crowd is walking into LCS with my new M18, featuring their new Legend 3.0 design. The anodized aluminum lid with the dark metallic moon finish is very cool and helps me stand out from the crowd. People know I'm the coolest when they see me with an Alienware notebook that has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series GPU in it. So thank you so much to Alienware for sponsoring and helping me stay fashionable.